Hello and welcome back to the Jacob Moore channel. It is summer here, well at least summer here at the Jersey Shore, and to kick it off I felt like doing something of a summery kind of DIY to get those summer juices flowing. Speaking of summer, if you haven't already seen my DIY on how to make a custom logo, in my case it was a blue moon, tank top, um, then click the link below because I've supplied that below. Like I said, I'm not quite in tank top condition just yet, so I don't think you'll be seeing any pictures of me in the tank top. But just as easily, you can go down and view the video link below. And I thought the best way to incorporate summer into a DIY was to use a trend that I've been seeing a lot of lately. And I guess you'd call it the wave trend. Woo! 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 Not that kind of wave. The wave that I'm referring to is a wave that is appearing in patterns and stripes on clothes and in home stuff and decor and all of that. For example, I have this shirt that I got recently and it has a wave pattern all across it in different ways. I've been seeing a lot of it and I just want to incorporate it into a DIY that we could make ourselves because it's a very easy pattern to replicate. So now that we've talked about our trend report for summer 2013, that sounds really weird, let's get started. The first thing that we'll need for today's project is poster board. Just a thick piece of poster board that we're going to be using um, to cut our stencil out of. Fabric paint and a foam paint brush. Measuring tape and chalk for marking. And most importantly, the bag or um, canvas that you're going to do your art on. I chose this particular bag, I think it's going to be a perfect beach bag. Just throw my towel in and head to the beach. Um, but I suggest, especially if this is your first time, doing it with anything that's like a flat surface because it'll just be easier to do the stencil. As you can see, I've gone ahead and marked all along the sides. I measured out exactly where my wave pattern is going to go and I spaced it evenly. And I also went ahead and pre-cut out um, the pattern itself. I just traced it onto a piece of the poster board and then cut it in half. And then when you separate it, you'll just paint in the space between and move up along the bag as you go. For this, I'm going to start at the top and do the first one and then work my way all the way down the bag. Once you have your pattern lined up on the bag with your two pieces of poster board, just grab your paint and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in the center with my stencil and work my way outwards to the end so that way at least it's symmetrical in the, down the center of the bag. Get a little bit of paint on your brush, you don't want too much. Make sure everything is lined up. And then here goes nothing. Keep going along, just make sure you get in all the nooks and crannies of the stencil and make sure you keep it lined up with itself. You don't want it to get askew. Who am I today with this vocabulary? Askew? I think I need to start drinking again like I did in my last video. I think it just made me a little bit more normal. Okay, and I think my first row is done for the most part. Cool. I'm pretty happy with it. Now of course you can go back and you can touch it up in spots that you think you need to. But I liked how in some places I did a little bit more paint and in other places I did a little bit less so it's a very faded look. And now I'm just going to keep track of my measurement and I'm going to work my way down the whole bag. And for boringness reasons, I will not record while I'm doing any of that. So hopefully I don't mess up. Wookada 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 wookada! I'm done! Okay, so thanks to the magic of television, also known as the magic of YouTube, I have completed the entire row of stripes down the length of the bag, and then at the bottom I kind of did like a, a dip dye or a dip painted kind of look, um, just to finish it off, and I'm really happy with the result. I think this was a really cool way to incorporate a trend onto something useful that I'm probably going to use all summer and it was super cheap. I got it off of Amazon for like 10 bucks for the bag and then just some paint and 
I'm one trendy mother I guess in keeping with the whole summer theme of this vlog, I'll stash this or stuff this bag with all of my summer necessities for the beach. Number one are the sunglasses, completely necessary. Number two is the bathing suit. Just roll it up and stuff it in there. Number three is the towel. Just stuff that guy in there. Some reading material. Stuff that in there. And we're totally set for the beach, brah. Please make sure if you enjoyed watching me make this video and this awesomely on-trend wave print bag, then subscribe to my channel, Jacob Moore, and watch all my other videos and stay tuned for more to come because I post them all the time. And I can't wait to see you guys next time. Later, guys.